Edinson Vokwes, B-O-H-L Kess, born July 3, 1983, is a Dominican professional baseball pitcher for the Miami Marlins of Major League Baseball, MLB. He previously played for the Texas Rangers, Cincinnati Reds, San Diego Padres, Los Angeles Dodgers, Pittsburgh Pirates, and Kansas City Royals. Voke was signed with the Rangers in 2001 under the name of Julio Reyes. He went by Edison Voke was after 2003, before adding an N to his first name in 2007. Early Life Voke was grew up in the Dominican Republic and started playing baseball when he was 9 or 10 with the support of his parents. It was good for me because my mom and dad always took care of me. The only thing I did was go to school and play baseball. Quote. Professional career. Texas Rangers. Voquez was signed as an amateur free agent by the Texas Rangers in the Dominican Republic in 2001, together with John Danks and Thomas Diamond. Voquez was one-third of the DVD trio of Rangers pitching prospects. After spending four years in the Rangers minor league system, Voquez made his major league debut on August 30, 2005 in the start against the Chicago White Sox. He lost all three major league games he started that season, as well as one of the three games in which he appeared as a reliever, and posted a 14-21 era. He spent the first five months of the 2006 season with the Oklahoma Red Hawks of the Class AAA Pacific Coast League until he was recalled to the majors in September. This time, he fared better, winning one of his eight starts and posting a 7. 29 era. The Rangers were dissatisfied with the results shown by one of their top pitching prospects. So in 2007 they tried an unconventional tactic. Voquez was demoted to the Bakersfield Blaze of the Class A Advanced California League to work on his control. As Voquez progressed, he was slowly promoted up through the minor league system until he reached the big leagues in September. This tactic had been used by Mark Connor, the Rangers' pitching coach. Once before, Voquez showed much improvement in his big league performance that season, posting a 2-1 record and 4-50 era in six starts. Voquez later said about the time in the minors, At the time, I didn't understand, because if I play in the big leagues, why do I have to go all the way back to single A? It made me better. It made me a better person. Quote. Cincinnati Reds On December 21, 2007, the Rangers traded Voquez to the Cincinnati Reds, along with Daniel Ray Herrera, in a deal for Josh Hamilton. Voquez made his Reds' his debut on April 6, 2008 in a game against the Philadelphia Phillies in Cincinnati. In five, question mark, question mark, innings of work, he allowed only five hits, one earned run and two whacks while striking out eight batters in an eight. Two victory. Voquez started 2008 with a seven. One record and a one. 33 era in nine starts. And allowed no more than one earned run in all but one of these starts. In which he allowed two. He became the only Reds pitcher to accomplish this since 1912. On May 18, 2008. Voquez participated in a pitching matchup with the Cleveland Indians' Cliff Lee, who at that point led the American League with an era of 0. 67. It was the third time in MLB history that the era leaders of each league had faced each other. Voquez won the contest by a score of 6. 4. Improving to 7. 1. Lee's loss, his first of the season, left him with a 6. 1 record. Voquez was selected to represent the National League in the 2008 MLB All-Star Game. After the season, the Baseball Writers Association of America put Voquez on the ballot for National League Rookie of the Year award voting, an award for which he was not eligible. He subsequently received three second-place votes for the award, which went to Giovanni Soto.
Vokwes did not follow up his 2008 All-Star campaign with the same success. In 2009 with Cincinnati, Vokwes posted a 4-2 record with a 4-35 era through June 1st. He was placed on the 15-day DL with elbow pain on June 2nd, and then eventually moved to the 60-day DL in preparation for Tommy John surgery, which ended his season. On April 20, 2010, he received a 50-game suspension for use of performance-enhancing drugs. Vokwes was the Reds' opening day starter in 2011 and finished the season 5-7 with a 5 71 era in 20 starts for Cincinnati. He also spent time in the minor leagues, going 4-2 with a 2-37 era for AAA Louisville. San Diego Padres On December 17, 2011, Vokwes, Yonder Alonso, Yasmani Grandal, and Brad Boxberger were traded by the Reds to the San Diego Padres for Matt Latos. Vokwes finished the season 11-11 with a 4-14 era. He collected 174 strikeouts, but issued the league-leading 105 walks. Vokwes was again the Padres' opening day starter in 2013. On June 2, Vokwes hit his first career home run, a three-run homer off Toronto Blue Jays pitcher Ramon Ortiz. In 27 starts for the Padres in 2013, Vokwes went 9-10 with a 6-0-1 era. Los Angeles Dodgers On August 30, 2013, Vokwes signed an agreement with the Los Angeles Dodgers on a major league contract. Vokwes appeared for the Dodgers that night, pitching one scoreless inning in relief against the, his former team, the Padres. He joined the Dodgers' rotation soon after and made five starts in September for them. He was 0-2 with a 4-18 era for the Dodgers in 2013. Pittsburgh Pirates After the 2013 season, Vokwes signed a one-year deal worth $5 million with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Vokwes experienced a career rebirth with the Pirates, going 13-7 with a 3. 04 era and 140 strikeouts in 32 games. On October 1, 2014, Vokwes started the 2014 National League wildcard game for the Pirates against the San Francisco Giants. Vokwes would not come through however, giving up fibers, including a grand slam to Giants shortstop Brandon Crawford. In five innings pitched, the Pirates would go on to lose 8-0 eliminating them from the playoffs in the process. The wildcard game would prove to be Vokwes's last game as a Pirate, as he became a free agent after the 2014 season. Kansas City Royals On December 29, 2014, the Kansas City Royals announced that they had signed Vokwes to a two-year, $20 million contract. Vokwes got the nod to start in Game 5 against Matt Harvey, where he gave up two earned runs on only two hits in six innings with a no decision. The Royals again forced the game into extra innings before defeating the Mets to win the World Series. On June 24, 2016, Vokwes experienced one of the worst starts of his career as he allowed 12 runs in the first inning. He only lasted one inning as the Royals lost to the Houston Astros 4-13. Miami Marlins On November 28, 2016, Vokwes agreed to a two-year, $22 million contract with the Miami Marlins. The contract became official on December 1. International Career Vokwes pitched in the 2009 World Baseball Classic. He took the loss in the opening game for the Dominican Republic against the Netherlands, giving up three runs, unearned, two hits, two walks and three strikeouts and three innings pitched. Vokwes again pitched for the eventual champion Dominican Republic in the 2013 World Baseball Classic, starting the first game in each of the three tournament rounds. He allowed five runs in 10-1. 
three innings and picked up the win in the semi-final game against the Netherlands. Scouting Report Voquez throws four pitches. A low to mid-90s fastball. A two-seam fastball that clocks also in the low to mid-90s. A mid-80s changeup and a high-70s curveball. Throughout his career, Voquez has struggled with command of his pitches. Personal Life Voquez still makes a home in the Dominican Republic, where he spends four months during the off-season. Name Issues When he was signed by the Rangers in 2001 at age 17, he went by the name Julio Reyes but his name was revealed to be Edison Voquez after an immigration crackdown in 2003. In 2007, he asked the Rangers to add an N to his name after checking his birth certificate to find he was born Edison.